Hey everyone, what's going on? Theo here with Believe Hi-Fi, and today we've got something a little bit different. I'm starting a new series called What is Hi-Fi? Because for me, I find it quite strange that I'm the only person within a large group of friends and people that I know and my family that is into Hi-Fi. And they kind of look at me like I'm quite weird. They go, what's the point of this? I don't get why you're spending your money on this. Oh, and then they get me to listen to their car speakers or their soundbar and they go, what do you think of this? This is really clear, right? This sounds really good. And it's a little bit frustrating for me and maybe it's frustrating for others. And I think this is a beautiful hobby and I love it. So I want to share my passion and help to get the message out and help to explain like, what is this weird thing that I do and I enjoy and many other people enjoy. So here's the new series. Today is going to be part one. There's going to be maybe up to four parts of this series. And part one is about the stereo image and imaging in general and the soundstage and what actually happens when you've got an awesome stereo setup or pair of headphones and what's the difference in the experience. So mind my drawing. We're going to get into it right now. Okay, so into point number one of what is hi-fi so please excuse my let's just say far from beautiful drawing i'm not much of an illustrator but i hope this still gets the point across first we're going to go through what generally people experience with sound and then i'm going to go through what can be achieved with sound and hi-fi so situation one is you might have any sort of speaker arrangement it could be stereo which just means right and left speaker. It could be something where you've just got a sound bar, something like Sonos, or it could be a surround sound situation. First thing I want to bring up when listening to music, not mu- not movies, but just music. When you go to a concert, the band is not behind you, on the right of you, on the left of you. The stage is up here. So it makes a lot of sense for the sound to come from the front. You don't need these speakers when it comes to music. Secondly, most likely the recording studio, mastering studio, mixing studio, they mixed this album or song on stereo, left and right. So it only makes sense to listen to that on left and right. And you're going to understand why that's important a little bit more when we get over to case number two. All right, but I don't want to drag on too long. So what generally happens is this. You get a wave of sound, a wave of sound. It could be from any of these points, right? And your speakers just make a sound. And in all of that sound, you're going to get a mix of everything. Vocals, instruments, just everything, right? It's just a wave of sound, especially when you have a single source, right? You might notice a little bit, oh, I think something, some sounds are here and some sounds are here and just kind of like a blob, maybe. But generally, you just get a wave of sound, right? Everything's just mixed in. But in real life, that's not what happens. And I apologize for my camera moving around. (laughs) But let's go to situation number two, which is what can be achieved. Now, if you were to have a, let's just say a little acoustic setup, in your room the singer let's say was sitting right here and they're accompanied by another singer and guitar player over here and there was someone on a keyboard over here would you expect the sound to come at you like this situation here just a wave of sound no you would go well the singer's there i can see she's there and you'd expect her voice to just come straight at you and you'd be able to go even if you close your eyes the singer is right there and you'd be able to go well obviously on the right i can hear there's something else and then you'd go oh obviously i can hear the keyboard and each sound comes to you as its own individual sound and you can pick up the details in these unique sounds now this is what's amazing with stereo setups if you set your room up right or you got good pair of headphones what will happen is these speakers will vanish or have the illusion that they have vanished. 
And when you your brain will basically create what's known as the stereo image, which is basically this imaging that can happen. It can actually extend far beyond the width of the speakers. You know, you could have a song where there could be something you're hearing from even out here. And this is why I always advise you close your eyes when you listen to music. So, sure, now you understand the concept of why it's important, you know, because it's more realistic. You're going to have a singer here and you can point out that's the singer. Well, I'm telling you, these speakers can disappear and you can close your eyes and you can swear there's someone standing right there singing to you. You can point right there. The singer is right there. I can hear the keyboard player is right there. I can hear a bassist next to the singer right there. I can hear the backup singer and the other guitarist right there. What happens here is you get separation. It, it creates this realistic experience. You feel like they're in the room. All right, so how does it even go a step further from here? Well, there's something that can happen where you get depth. And this is also a term that can be called the holographic image. So what happens now if you could also say, well, I can hear the speaker, the singer rather, is just behind the speakers and is about six, that, that sound is coming from about six feet high. And I can actually hear that the, per, the bassist is about, you know, a meter behind and you get these 3D thick holographic images of the sound. Maybe this keyboard plays right up at the front. Maybe this acoustic is right next to this other player and maybe this sound is coming from way back here. And now there's this depth to the image which creates this amazing realism where you start going, wow, it really feels like when I close my eyes, that there's a bunch of people in front of me playing music and I can pick them out. It's almost like if I gave you a laser pointer, you'd be able to go, singer's there, a meter behind, just to the left over their shoulder, or it's actually their right shoulder. There's the bass player. What happens here is, as I said before, you're going to pick out way more detail. You'll hear the space in between all of these elements. And it's a really amazing experience. You will emotionally engage and connect with the music way more than you would in this scenario. Because this is just, the way I like to put it, this is speakers throwing sound at you. This, this is music. This is really music. And this is an amazing experience. And it can also be achieved on headphones. Not to the same extent. But still, let's just draw a really quick image. So, first, normal headphones, let's just say you've just got sound trapped in your head. You get something a little better. Let's say I can go, oh, there's kind of like a blob here and a blob here. I can hear sounds on the left and the right, but it's still in my head. Then you go even better and you get a pair of headphones where the sound is coming from extending you can hear it outside of the head and then you go to the ultimate step where what will happen is you've got your headphones mind the drawing and the sound will actually extend deep and it almost be like you can place the elements like this Depending on the track, not every song has a very wide soundstage, but it will adjust and you'll have this 3D holographic image of depth to the sound even when it comes to headphones. All right, everyone, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for putting up with my lackluster drawing skills and thanks for listening to me. I just really hope you learned at least something and I brought you into my world at least for if it was just even a moment. For the rest of you viewers who are already into hi-fi and you've experienced this yourself, you may not have learned so much, but maybe there was at least one thing I said where you were like, that's a cool way that you explained it. As always, your comments are really helpful. And I've actually had a few of you reach out to me through my email address and I appreciate the in-depth 
and I was surprised with the in-depth feedback you've all been giving me. But anyway, next week on to something new. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Any feedback is welcome. I'm not scared of negative criticism. I know I've got a long way to go. But anyway, I'll catch you later.